All right, guys, so in the last video, you guys saw me uh, buy the worst dirt bike I've ever seen on Craigslist. It's got a hole in the motor, and as you can see, it's pouring oil out of the hole in the motor. But you know, it's episode one of rebuilding this thing and making her look brand new. Dude, you're so thankful you didn't get any fucking oil on the fucking on the driveway. driveway. Yeah. I thought it was gonna get on the driveway, bro. I was like, oh fuck. And the bike build begins now. All right, so you saw me buy my new bike. It's a 2016 YZ450F, and it might be the most beat YZ450F I've ever seen, but also it might be the most cheap YZ450F I've ever seen as well. So I got it for 1500 bucks. It's got some major issues. For one, it has a hole in the motor. So, you know, that's probably the worst thing that could happen to your bike. And, you know, the ped, the crank, the housings, the crankcases, it's all, it's all screwed. There's, there's no saving it. But... You know, I wanted a bike to build because I'm trying to build a matching bike to my Supreme Glock. I don't know if you guys have seen, I'll pop up a picture. It's going to be sick. The guy wrote it on the street. Everything on here is dirty as hell. It looks like they never washed it. You know, seats cracked. Pretty much everything on this bike's going to get taken apart and painted. Swing arm, the motor, the cases, every bolt on this is going to be painted. It's going to be the sickest bike ever. I'm pretty hyped up. It's going to be a sick build. I'm actually teaming up with Cerakote on this build. I don't know if you guys know what Cerakote is, but it's the same thing I put on my Glock. Their finish is like powder coat but it's not powder coat. It's way stronger and it's way more heat resistant than powder coat. So I'm gonna do the whole motor. Everything on it's gonna be coated. So, you know, we're working here in the garage, getting things done, and I'm gonna make this thing sick because that's what we do around here. We make everything sick. Nothing stays stock. Everything gets modded. How long do you think it's gonna take to pull the motor? Usually, like when my dad tells me it's gonna take like two hours, usually it takes like four. So. <laughs> We're gonna go four. We're gonna go four? Yeah. But I, I think... believe in you, so I'll, I'll knock it down three, actually. Three? Three. three I think hours. I can do it in two. <laughs> Oh, back wheel off. I'm actually working quick because I just like want to see how fast I can pull this apart. I really just broke this because of the intro. I was like, hey, let's throw it off the back. It'll be funny. What's not funny is the $150 that's going to cost now to fix. <laughs> Subframe, dude. Just bend it back. Does that mean it's bent? Bro, how did I just do that, bro? That was the dumbest thing I've probably ever done. Oh my god. You know, when you had two feet on the bike, part of me's thinking like, what happens when it lets go? But uh, you did it so quickly that it just there's no stopping that. It just had to happen. I'm taking off the front fender and I find, I think it's a dime bag. Bro, is this a little dime bag? Is it just really dried out weed? I don't know, bro. This deal just keeps getting better and better. That's crazy, bro. Opening this thing's gonna look wild. Look at that thing, bro. Huge asshole. One hour on the dock. What'd I say? One hour. But uh, yeah, you know, motor's out. Now I gotta bring that to Justice's Superior Off Road. He's gonna fix that bad boy. Hopefully. All right, boys. Well, a lot has been happening. A lot has not been getting filmed, but a lot has been happening. As you can see, the Hellcat is no longer clapped. Actually, it's a little bit clapped, but it's getting there. So last time you guys seen this, the hood was like all messed up. It was a different color. The front bumper, obviously this whole thing was in a collision. Whistling hit a, I think a railroad spike is what he said. We got the front bumper on, we got the hood on. It's all painted and it's looking minty fresh. And now, like I said, I've been talking about doing the wide body kit that Vicar has sent me. They sent me wheels and a wide body kit. Today's the day we're wide body in the Hellcat. You know, we got her all shined up right now and big things happening. It's about to look badass. I got to mount the tires and wheels for this. And then I've got my old set from my old Hellcat, and then these are off a of I have that I need to get these balanced. And then the side-by-side -side wheels are off because this one has a leak, so I'm fixing that. So there's a lot going on. We got Matt helping out now. Matt's uh, full-time helping now. He got a whip, and now he's my right-hand man now. And we're getting shit done, honestly, these past couple days. We have been grinding. You know, once all this bullshit is done, I can start focusing on doing actually fun shit. Because I'm gonna be honest, wide-bodying this Hellcat and fucking working on tires and working on shit like this is not fun. I'm trying to start having strictly fun. That's all I want to do now. I just want to do fun shit with the cool shit. But first, we got to fix all the broken shit. So we're going up this year. Yes, sir. Going up. I'm going to pop in the clip. We're only going up. <laughs> it's money going up, but we only going up. Oh, 
Boys, we have arrived. I honestly want to see what they're going to say. They're going to be like, bro, what the fuck at is least, going on? At least we don't look like that guy. What up? What up, what up? I brought you a few wheels. He's not even overwhelmed. He's like, yeah, bro, I like that. He wasn't like... Dude, he was so, he's like, let's, he let's fire like, it off. fucking run this shit. Yeah. This guy is the man, bro. Yeah. He literally, like, searched the whole country. So the tires for the C8 were three grand. And he found them for, I think, I think, like, 600 bucks for used ones that are, like, brand new. And these bitches are crazy, bro. They're, like, bro, they're crazy. Tire shop dude. Getting shit done. Back in the day, this used to be me. Oh, my God, dude. Woo. He got lean for, like, yeah, cheap. Cheap, like, 300 is higher. These bitches are so crazy. Well, we're out to the dealership. When the work gets hard, I disappear. <laughs> we have arrived at the Dodge dealership. We're about to go look at some vehicles that we cannot afford. I haven't showed anyone this yet. I might even show them, but I just want to get, like, what you think. You got to tell them, like, what you think. So it's not done, but, like, right now I'm getting some parts for it. Okay. But I'm about to drop it off this month, but okay. check this out. You're going to bring it back. Shit. <laughs> it's not done. It's just mocked up. God damn. Pretty wild, right? Imagine awesome, it running yeah. and like yeah. in the. <laughs> nah, you never see some shit like that. I'm gonna jump it like Baja. Oh, I ended up not going with the tires Vicar has sent me for the rear of my Hellcat. I'm gonna put them on something else, but I did those on the front, so I got brand new tires on the front. But then look at these. I got these used 335 30s, bro. These bitches are, are fat. Thick, dude. Sit on that sucker. A seat and a half right there. The last and final, they're balanced up. I don't even know if you guys know what these are for yet. Give us a seat. All right, so Judas Garage LLC is growing. We just hired some new guys around here. I'm gonna show you guys them. They're super hard workers. Let me know what you guys think. They're new here. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? Found this guy in the neighborhood. What's your name? He's uh, making them six dollars and ninety cents an hour yep that's fire no and i don't need money i'm good i already have like a bunch of money no money <laughs> hey he oh, works yeah. for free come around more <laughs> yesterday we got the wheels mounted up on the hellcat look at we got new tires look at check this out what do you think about this i'm doing red on one side yeah, i kind of like that and then i'm gonna do black okay. on the other side is that gonna be pretty cool or what that, that, that is gonna look epic more than epic actually what'd you tell your dad you're doing right now uh riding around you told him you're gonna go hang out with Judah. I said I found your house, and yeah. he's like, "Don't be going out to people's properties like that." Uh, I was like, "Okay." But okay. Still here? Yeah. <laughs> Take that, Dad. <laughs> Take that, Dad. <laughs> what do you have to do first? What's Today, the first step? We are wide bodying the Hellcat, I think so. and we're putting new wheels on the Hellcat. Yep. We're putting a new steering wheel in the Hellcat. Let me show you the steering wheel. And we're pulling weeds. How does that sound? You like pulling weeds? No, but it's still cool. Oh my gosh. Check it out. The new steering wheel here. Dang, it's like... What do you think about that? There it is. Don't Carbon drop it. Nice. It's expensive. But yeah, let's check it out. So it's a carbon fiber wheel. I actually sell these. So if you want one, hit your boy up. I got one on the C8. And I put them on all my cars. So we're going to install this bad boy today. Wide body this bad boy. And you've seen it. I'm lifting it, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I got to show you this picture. Check this out. This is top secret though. No one's seen it. Pause the video. Nah, they're just going to see your reaction. Oh, dang! Yeah. That looks crazy! So that's just like the mocked up, not actually on, but like it's gonna be, be like that when it's done. You ever seen something like that? No! <laughs> I think the, the fans are gonna like that for sure. I think so too. Vicar has sent us this kit. It's an aftermarket kit, but it looks pretty OEM. I've heard bad things and I've heard good things about it, but you know, I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion and we're gonna put it on. It's gonna look badass. I'm so. calling my grandma. And you have to say hi <laughs> to my grandma. Your grandma's a big, big fan? <laughs> Just yeah. chilling my boy. <laughs> no girl can hold this guy down. Hey, don't be looking, don't be asking about my little sister, man. <laughs> I go you got a girlfriend? Let's see a picture. No, I ain't got no You don't no got pistols. no girlfriend. I ain't got no pistol. I have her in my contacts. My oh, oh give her a call. She didn't score. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 I like it, I like it. I like you more already. I think he's the best YouTuber out here. Definitely. And Listen, when this kid says that, it's certified. So, we got the wide body pieces right here. As you can see, look at, check it out. These obviously go on the car, but then to put them on the car. What is that for? Some things to help it go on the car, and then we got... Ooh. So these fender flares don't bolt on, they stick on, because they're aftermarket, but they look just like OEM. So the only concern is if they come off. We're going to make sure we clean the surface real nice, Yep. and we stick them bitches on real good. Oh, can't curse. Bad. Do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. Look at that. Boom. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Making them fresh. 
If someone doesn't buy these, they're gonna grab them wheels and be like, what? What did you spray on? <laughs> how much do you think I give for these? I said, how much? He said two grand. I'm gonna post them for two grand. Look at this kid. Oh, you are? Oh! Yeah, Smart, we actually man. are. Alright boys, well, you see me in every car put one of these in it. So it's pretty much just a carbon fiber custom steering wheel. I actually sell these now. And if you want one for your car, DM this Instagram and I'll get you plugged up, you know? Because these things are sick. It's literally a must. I'm gonna pop up a little video of my last Hellcat. They're kind of expensive, they're like 1200 bucks, but, and even though we're lifting this Hellcat, you think I'm gonna go mudding with a stock steering wheel? Are you crazy? Fuck no. Hell no. You got some good ideas, man. Yeah, I really do. He just asked me where the badge is for the C8, and then he said you should change it to a McLaren emblem. Yeah. So now that's what we're doing. We're changing the C8 to a McLaren. This is like totally impulsive. Like I was literally like, yeah, let's debadge it. And now look at it. Don't break it. Oh. You want oh. this? Sure. <laughs> sure. Mine now. <laughs> sure. You keep it, bro. All right. You don't want it? I'm good. I'm totally good, bro. All right. I felt like this was gonna, he was going to freak out. <laughs> See, when I was a young boy, I didn't know about this tool. I used to sit here with my fingers. The rest you hit with acetone. No more Corvette, you ready? Just boom, look at, boom, oh, boom, gone, <laughs> gone. <laughs> Corvette guys are like, <laughs> we didn't have no acetone, so you know. Yeah. Just the old fashioned. Yeah. A little bit of 93 on that bitch. <sighs> there you go, All right, there you there go. Not coming off. I'm about to show you how to turn your C8 into a Lamborghini. Should I do Ferrari on one side, Lamborghini on the other? You, but that sounds like a good idea. Honestly, girls will probably believe you. We should try that. Dude. That's a good idea. Picking up girls like in my really Ferrari, but it's not even a Ferrari, but they're like, oh my God, why would a... I buy a Ferrari when I could just fake flex? Everyone else does on the internet, but they don't even That's buy it. At least yeah. I own the C8. Let me try. Let me try. <laughs>